catch a glimpse into the future of a given industry, and you should want to, because the clearer your view of the future, the better you're likely to be at picking stocks. Then sometimes you have to check out the privately held companies at the cutting edge of their particular fields, as these smaller private firms are often far more innovative than their larger publicly traded brethren. That's why tonight we're going off the tape with Synvenio Biosystems. That's a private company founded six years ago trying to transform the way we treat cancer. Synvenio is all about personalized medicines, creating tests that allow doctors to tailor their cancer treatments to the needs of individual patients at the genetic level. The company has two main technologies. First, there's liquid biopsy. It's a blood test that's designed to replace a tissue biopsy as a way to detect genomic mutations present in an individual that may be associated with cancer. Once the blood is collected, it's shipped to Synovio's lab for analysis. Second, there's Clear ID. This is Synvenio's high-tech monitoring program for breast cancer patients. Clear ID uses a blood test to detect whether the cancer might be recurring, and it can catch things that a mammogram can't. Not only that, but this test can tell you what type of breast cancer you're dealing with by assessing 50 genes commonly associated with cancer. And while it currently only works for breast cancer, the system might be able to address lung, prostate, colorectal cancers in the future. I think this kind of personalized medicine could be the future of the fight against cancer. So let's take a closer look with Andre DeFusco. He's the CEO of Synvenio Biosystems. And Dr. Paul Dempsey is the chief scientific officer. Mr. DeFusco, Mr. Uh, Dr. Dempsey, welcome to Mayo Money. Thanks. Hi, Joe. All right, uh, uh, when I read uh, Andre, what you're doing at Synvenio, it almost seems to be like it's the holy grail. It's a blood test that tells you whether you have cancer and what you can do with it. Uh, yeah, that's correct. Um, it is uh, the product of sequencing the human genome, so we're putting that to work in a blood test. So it complements what can be done with tissue biopsy. It can give a doctor a look into how to treat a patient at the molecular level. All right, now where is it in terms of, you talk about Synvenio is a commercial stage diagnosis. You're in the mix. We are, yes. We launched a lab um, uh, last year, and we are testing people currently. And uh, we also have our technology available as a platform if uh, pharmaceutical companies or other testing companies want to install it. All right, Paul, there's a line in your presentation which says, the test can be used at all stages of the cancer care cycle, which means, of course, also if, if for a retest if someone has a relapse. It is risk-free to patients and has no false positives? Yeah. Um, How can that be possible? Well, that's, that's the way the test was designed. So um, it can work at all stages in the cancer cycle because um, it is simply a blood draw. So anytime a doctor needs to interrogate a patient, he can simply take another blood draw and ask the same question again. We built the test based on the performance that we saw. So we were able to set the threshold so it didn't give us false positives. Okay. And, and that was how it was designed to work. Now, the standard of care hasn't caught up with the test, right? I mean, there's still the doctors who didn't think it was necessary to continue to retest, but this is harmless retesting. It, 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 the interaction with the patient is harmless because, of, unfortunately, a cancer patient donates blood regularly for various different right. tests. The, um, the, the value to the doctor is as, the, as a disease progresses, as a patient goes through rounds of treatment, the disease changes. And it's necessary to understand how those changes reflect the best clinical decision for that patient. Okay, uh, Andre, talk about the personalized medicine approach. We're seeing a lot of biotechs come on and they're targeting things. I might presume that without yours, they really They'll have, they'll, have, they'll have medicines that can target something, but they don't know who needs to be targeted. Exactly. Yeah, that's really what this is about. Most anti-cancer agents are ineffective three-quarters of the time. That's really the three issue. Three-quarters of the time, they're just bombarding people. Right. So this is a way to personalize the treatment to understand for each patient how that tumor is evolving and whether they're going to respond to a new drug or a combination of new drugs. Well, when I look at your advisory board and I see all the major cancer hospitals, I have to wonder, why would they, a big drug company ever wait for you to go public? I mean, why wouldn't I just try to buy it now if it's got the holy grail? Well, you know, we'd like to grow the company. It's just going commercial now, so we'd like to get a little bit larger and give our shareholders a better outcome. We also see ourselves perhaps uh, going all the way to the street. Okay. That's something that we could do. Now, uh, Paul, the, the, these other cancers, is that just wishful thinking, or do you really have no, a no, path? No, not at all. Um, the cancers, uh, we're, we're, it's clear that cancers are more related than they are dissimilar. Um, but a test needs to be optimized for... The, the source of the disease. There are things that can be changed to make the information more 
um, useful to the doctor and to give a stronger signal for the patient. So there are um, developments that we're doing at, at Synvenio to bring these other diseases online. This seems to be the way to deal with cancer. All right, that's, that's Andrew DeFusco, he's the CEO of Synvenio Biosystems, and Dr. Paul Dempsey, he's the Chief Scientific Officer. Stick with Kramer.